Okay, so I still have a couple things left to do, and I'm realizing I don't really have enough room to put a um, tombstone on here. So I'm going to show you how to do one, but I'm not going to put one on my paper because I'm full. And that's one of the things you have to decide about composition. Don't squish something in there just to get it in there if it's full. Now, I have some room at the top to do some things, but I'm really pretty spaced out here, and I definitely want to put a pumpkin on mine. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to draw one if I were going to put one in there. So I'm going to put a little post you note on mine because you want your tombstone definitely to touch your black ground. So I put it right here, okay? So I'm gonna draw it on here. I'm gonna turn here. And a tombstone is a really easy one to do, okay? So you're just going to take it as if it were on the ground here and you're gonna draw a lot, uh, just an upside down U. Okay, just like that. Okay? And that will be your tombstone. And I will trace that here. Put this right here so you can see it better, hopefully. Okay, trace that so you can see it. Okay, that is basically your tombstone. I'm going to color it in here real quick. That okay, so if it were colored in, it would look just like that. Okay, that's how you would do a tombstone. So. 